Hi guys, I'm here with my friend Toby, who is the managing editor of our Think Make Share blog, and she's here today to show us how to set this beautiful Friendsgiving table setting. I feel like Friendsgiving is a thing that's kind of risen in popularity in these last few years. It's a great excuse to get together with friends, girlfriends to get together, couples to get together. Kind of the idea is that you keep it fairly low key, right. but still, you know, you can do some things to dress it up and make it chic. So tell me what you've brought here today. Um, I have kind of a mix of modern, you know, things that my husband and I registered for when we got married, coupled with things that are old. Okay. I love to thrift shop and uh, find things that have history. What's vintage here? What's new and what's old? Um, a lot of it's vintage. The silverware. Um, is you know gold flatware is mm -hmm. kind of my thing. I love brass. Um, these great glasses are vintage. So I like to each year give my friends a card to tell them why I'm grateful for them. Oh, that's you so know, sweet. Something that has happened throughout the year, or you know, just a re you know a time that we've been there for each other, or something like that. And then just a little something to you know add a little pop, the feathers. If you guys can't see this, Toby has taken a feather a little kind of fake sprig of cranberries and tied it with our little piece of twine. So it's not like really fancy, but kind of all together, it's pretty darn cute. Okay, so finishing touches. Yes, here's our name tag. I'm just dropping on top. It's so pretty. So easy. So easy. So I know you have another idea for us as yes. well. Okay, this so is what I'm, I did last year. For okay, so this year. So this is okay. kind of what I'm planning to do I'll this year. I'll move these guys out of the way. Okay, so I actually went to the fabric store and I just found several different fabrics that I like and I cut them and hem them and okay. voila, napkins. Okay. So I might just, to kind of switch it up from last year, I might just lay that underneath. I know there are no rules when you're doing. See, I think this anymore. is so interesting because I never would have thought of putting this pattern together with this blue um, china pattern, but somehow you do it and it looks cool. Well, honestly, I didn't think about it either. Maybe I that's the trick. Of, yeah, whatever you like is it's gonna work because you love it. So, and then I found these adorable little piggy name card holders again with kind of the blue and the gold, so it ties in. Toby, thank you so much for coming and showing us how to create these beautiful Friendsgiving table settings. Absolutely, thanks for having me. I love them. If you like this idea, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Happy Friendsgiving. So you take your oh, glass. Oh, it's congealed. It's blood, and it's going to be creepy. And you could do this with kids' glasses, too. I mean, they love it because it's a sweet. But it doesn't have to be a martini glass. It could be anything. Yes. Or do you need the martini for it to run down that way? I like a martini glass.